fellas? Yeah, uh, dude, I think that, and I'm sure this is going to get me in trouble. Some of uh, some of my peers, or some of the not not even my peers, but some of the people who uh, are a generation above me. I think if you don't think Orange Cassidy is good. You need to reevaluate and watch some of his stuff. Um, I understand that some guys from a different era can say, oh, but he's hokey or he does this. But then, you know, in the same era they're from, um, Jimmy Valiant was fake peeing on people like he was a dog. You know what I mean? Right. Or sticking his thumb right. up their butt. And so you got to think about the entertainment aspect too. This guy can go, he can, he can, he can wrestle, but imagine if orange Cassidy, who's gotten over to the extent that he's gotten over because of his gimmick and because of his character uh, and the, in, in the, in the weird charisma that he has and the unique charisma that he has, because it's only unique to him. No one else has gotten over the way he's gotten over. Um, but if he went out there and started wrestling like Johnny saint, you know, it wouldn't correlate. It wouldn't match together. You know, or if he went out there and like we talked about Magnum TA, if he kicked ass for, you know, five minutes straight and fought and punched and all this stuff, it wouldn't correlate. I think he works so smart without shitting on the business. You know what I mean? And that's what I respect. I, I, I think that he uses this thing with his pockets as a quote unquote distraction for his opponents. It's about how his opponents sell it too. If they make it a mockery and if they make it a joke, then it is a joke. But he uses it as a distraction, um, and I think he does that so smartly. I'm a huge fan of his, and I think his selling is completely underrated. I remember he had a match with it was a th- oh, man, I think it was a three way with uh, Pac and Omega, and I remember telling him, either texting him or talking to him that night. I can't remember. I told him he made that match because he sold so well that everyone bought, bought all of his false finishes. He's yeah. I can't say enough good things about, um, about, uh, orange Cassidy. Yeah. Pack orange Cassidy is one of my favorite matches in the history mm. of AEW. It's such a great match. Mm-hmm. The orange Cassidy character. Do people miss it? Like miss on it a little bit when they hate on it. They think it's making a mockery, but isn't the character just mocking his opponent? Isn't he getting under his opponent's skin by, by acting like it's not a big deal. Is that the character or, do you see it differently? Listen, dude, I think you know this, you know, better than most people do. I take wrestling very seriously, uh, too seriously sometimes. So if I can get on board, right. if I can get on board with Orange Cassidy and understand what he's doing, you know, uh, then I feel that most people should be able to. If he was going out there and and wrestling the invisible man or he was, you know, doing these hokey spots, spots that shit on wrestling – I could understand it. I could get it, but he, he works it perfectly. And that's all I can say. He's for his gimmick. He is the perfect wrestler. 